Welcome to Big Mike's Real Reviews. This is Big Mike, and I have to talk about the big reveals we got from San Diego Comic Con 2022. We're talking about Hall H, Marvel's Phase 5, Kevin Feige's presentation that is completely, completely mind blowing. I had to jump on here and do a video about this and about all of the things we got. We got a couple of trailers. We got a trailer for Wakanda Forever, which was amazing. Rest in peace, Chadwick Boseman. We also got a new trailer for She-Hulk, which actually looks really good too. And we got a breakdown of what's to come. Basically being Wakanda Forever being the last movie in phase four which I was not aware of before. So we have a lot to unpack here. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to put the phase five picture up here to where we have the first movie to be in phase five, which is Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. Then we have Guardians of the Galaxy, Loki season two. We also have Blade coming in 2023. They also changed the um, the title for uh, Agatha House of Harkness to, um, what is it, Coven of Chaos? Yeah, to Agatha Coven of Chaos. We also have uh, the Captain America 4, which is going to be New World Order. Secret Invasion, of course, which is going to be a Disney Plus show. Of course, Echo is going to be a Disney Plus show. We have the Marvels, which is a movie that's going to feature Miss Marvel, Captain Marvel, and Photon Monica Rambeau. Ironheart, who is going to actually debut in Wakanda Forever, which if you saw the trailer for that, which again is amazing. <laughs> Rest in peace, Chadwick Boseman. Once again, um, she, she debuts in that movie. And, oh my God, Daredevil Born Again. Daredevil Born Again. We're getting that as well in phase five. And to top it all off, Thunderbolts. So we're going to break this all down uh, in this video here. We're going to talk about the trailers uh, as well. What we got, of course, Wakanda Forever. We're going to start with that. Um, again, the movie looks really, really amazing. Um, I'm really, really interested to see what they're going to do after the tragic and very unforeseen death of Chadwick Boseman, who was the titular character of T'Challa, the Black Panther. So we're going to see who his successor is. Um, we're going to see the main villain of this movie, which is Namor, uh, the Submariner, um, which if you are a comics fan, <laughs> which I am very much so, uh, we know there's a long history between Wakanda and Atlantis um, and it's not a very good history if I do say so myself so this movie is going to feature um, which uh, was a big plot point in the comics uh, that being a war war between uh, Wakanda and Atlantis and I'm really looking forward to see how they're going to you know handle the tribute or death of Chadwick Boseman into the movie we actually saw uh, Queen Ramonda, uh, which is T'Challa's mother, actually saying in the movie, in the trailer, how she's lost all of her family and there's murals of T'Challa there. And there's actually some footage which I think could actually be, you know, the funeral of T'Challa as well. But this is all speculation at this point. But the movie looks really, really good. And I'm really excited to see that. And that's coming out November of this year. And that is going to be the end of phase four. Now, a lot of people are not happy with phase four. I feel like phase four was a bit lacking in my opinion. And I'm really looking forward to what they're going to do next. It looks like they're actually a lot of a lot of the problem that a lot of people have with phase four is the fact that they feel like there is no direction here. There is just kind of all over the place. And I would be inclined to agree somewhat. I did feel like there was less direction there than there was for the Infinity Saga. 
uh, it, it looks like phase five or phase four is more so. I think phase four and five is kind of considered the um, the multiverse saga, maybe even leading into phase six. So we have the Infinity Saga and we're currently, I believe, in the multiverse saga. So we're going to be getting a lot, a lot of content from Marvel, which I'm very excited about. And I cannot wait to see what they're going to do next because we have, again, Black Panther or Wakanda Forever, which comes out in November, which is going to be the last movie in um, phase four. But next month, actually, is when She-Hulk comes out. And if you saw that trailer, please watch that trailer. Please watch that trailer. It may, I was already really excited for She-Hulk, um, but that trailer made me much more excited to see it just because of... Not just because of. The the show itself looks really good from the trailer. But the last scene in the trailer, we get the look of Daredevil in costume in the MCU, not just the Netflix universe, which, I mean, I lost my shit. I really did. I lost my shit when I first saw the trailer. So please watch that. I'm very, very, very excited to see what's to come. Like I said, February... We uh, we get Quantumania in May. We're going to get Guardi- 2023, I believe. We're going to get Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. We get Loki Season 2. Blade, I believe, has also been announced to be an R-rated feature, which I'm very excited for because it looks like Marvel knows the formula. They know what worked previously, and they're just going to, you know, let it let it happen. Um, just all the all the upcoming slate just looks really good the trailers that we did see looks very promising i am very hopeful for what's upcoming with marvel even though again i have been a little bit disappointed in phase four but hopefully phase five and leading into phase six will definitely definitely turn the corner on that and we'll get back to some classic, classic Marvel, which we fell in love with back in the Infinity Saga. I'm looking so forward to a lot of these projects that are up and coming. I will say probably what I'm most looking forward to so far is Wakanda Forever because that is this year. And I'm really looking forward to see how they you know, do their tribute to Chadwick Boseman. Um, me personally... I'm a big fan of T'Challa. I'm in the comics. I'm a big T'Challa fan. So I want to see how they do the character justice. Also, um, I'm not really going to give my actual thoughts right here on what I think they should have done, but I'm really excited to see what they're going to do. And actually seeing the trailer gives me hope uh, that they are doing everything justice uh, you know, with this trailer and what they're going to do moving forward. So I'm really excited to see what's next. So if you are really excited to see what next, what's next as well, leave your comment down below. And with that being said, that's going to be the end of the video. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button. And if you're feeling extra generous, give this video a like. It's much appreciated. And don't forget to hit that bell to be notified of all my latest content. And once again, thanks for watching and see you next time.